this layout should have taken me 15 minutes, just four boxes across the screen. But I had spent hours just trying to get the right numbers. I'm currently building a barber a services page, which is supposed to be the easiest part of the website, the simplest part, the cleanest part. But Flexbox had other plans, or maybe it was me overthinking everything. By the end of this, I finally got all four cards to sit across the screen exactly how I imagined. But not before I lost my mind trying to get the spacing right. Started with the usual display flex, justified content, space between, and gave each service box a fixed width. It kind of worked, but then I realized one was sticking too far to the right, so I adjusted. Then the left one looked off, I adjusted again. Now the middle had a gap. This is when the margin madness started. I started tweaking margin left, margin right, padding percentages. I was literally just guessing numbers at this point. Doing 20px, 5%, 2 rem. It was like throwing numbers at a wall and hoping one of them boxes ended up behaving. Every time I ended up fixing one thing, something else shifted. I was chasing balance and losing at the same time. Then I made it worse. I just started using positioning. I gave one of the boxes position relative and tried nudging it with top negative 10 PX that fixed one issue but broke the alignment. Now I was deep in the weeds trying to manually place each box where I thought it belonged instead of letting Flex do the work. At one point, I just stared at the screen. Nothing was technically broken, but nothing looked right either. This wasn't a code problem. It was a design feeling. Like, the layout didn't feel balanced and I didn't know why. I realized I had no visual system. I was just reacting. So I wiped the styles, deleted the positioning, set everything back to display flex gap to whatever percentage I ended up giving it, and then gave each card a consistent width of like 22%. Then I used justified content, space between, but this time I added consistent padding to the container itself, 10% left and right. Suddenly it clicked. Everything was balanced because everything finally had some structure. The fix wasn't more code, it was removing the overthinking. But once I finally got the boxes to eventually sit right, I decided to start attacking the title. Now with the title, I just wanted it to be a bit bigger to kind of stand out and, you know, show that this was our services page. So I thought, I didn't have it exactly the way I wanted it. I was realizing that I kind of wanted my boxes to be a bit more spaced apart. And for some reason, Gap was not really working. So I had to end up restructuring it once again with a little bit of help with chat GBT with width, min height, box sizing, top. And eventually I got it to the point where things started to begin working i did have to figure out exactly which spot was i supposed to put it in was i supposed to put it in the border was i supposed to put it in with the words but eventually i got it to be exactly where i needed it to be including that felt amazing i'm very happy with the way that came out but because of that it moved our services all the way to the left so now I had to use margin auto i had to use a bit of padding i had to use um text and line i believe to finally get that in the middle and to make it a bit larger using font size. I thought I needed to be more technical, but really I needed to trust the basics. Flexbox is powerful. If you let it do its thing, when I fought it, it fought back. Now I know. If a layout feels off, stop coding for a second. Look at it like a user, not a dev. Next episode, I'm going to be finally putting in the actual services and giving it a bit more thought on what type of services do real barbers actually offer, just so I can make this website a little bit more realistic. Of course, the design is not exactly the way I would want it to be either, but those plans will eventually be revealed in the later episodes to come. I'm so sorry for how slow this process is taking. I don't have much time in my day. Thank God for being patient enjoying every single episode i upload thank you so much to my supporters thank you to the new fans y'all have been amazing i'm very happy for y'all to be joining this journey see y'all in the next one deuces